thank you, Charlie, and uh, welcome. Uh, thank you, everybody, for joining and looking uh, joining this talk. Um, last, I um, work at uh, as a software engineer uh, at Wecamp in uh, the Netherlands. Um, and last year we did a project around field searches, and I thought it would be nice to uh, share uh, uh, the results we got. Uh, so what is Wecamp? Wecamp is a Dutch online e-commerce store. We have a lot of customers, uh, a lot of visitors. We ship a lot of packages per year. And we also have a lot of different products uh, and a lot of different brands. Um, so as any e-commerce store, we have a website where you can search for uh, items in the search bar. But sometimes you end up with no results. And the, the this was uh, how last year was uh, our search results. Uh, field search results page. And this is what we call a field search uh, when there are no search results. And as you can see, it's uh, quite uh, uh, boring. It's uh, empty. And unfortunately, a lot of customers also ended their journey here. So we wanted to improve upon that. So how did we approach it? Um, well, first we uh, sat down and looked at, okay, what, are, what could be the reason that customers end up on this uh, on this page. Uh, so, um, for instance, it could be that we don't have the product or the brand. Uh, it could be that we have the product, but we cannot find it, or the product is sold out, or it's not released yet. Like the newest iPhone, people are already searching for it, but nobody has it in, in stock yet. Um, we saw that the most uh, uh, reason most common uh, reason was that we don't have the product or the brand and after that uh, we have the product but we cannot find it so this was the main focus of our uh, uh, project and we tackled this project from two different sides improving the search and improving the field search page so uh, here on the left is uh, you can see uh, improving the search part and this is mainly uh, to to uh, Make uh, to to lower the chance that you end up on this field search page. <coughs> so this is basically uh, relevance engineering, and, and and that's what we did. So this is an example of uh, 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 something that we could could improve in this way. Uh, people are looking for laptop hoose. Hoose is the Dutch word for sleeve. Uh, unfortunately, we have them in the system as laptop sleeve. So this is something we can improve. Um, well, there are a lot of moving parts in uh, in the search query before you get to the search results. Uh, there's a stemmer, there's a decompounder, there's, we have synonyms, we uh, uh, are indexing products, we have a named entity recognition, we have redirects in place to certain pages. And so where to start? Well, what we did was we took the top thousand of uh, failed searches uh, of the land of the previous three months and uh, sat down with the content team and uh, really went line by line so okay what is the reason that this turned up to have no search results and basically we improved uh, in this way uh, all of these different moving parts a little bit and but then you can still, of course, still end up on the field search page. So what we did there uh, was, uh, okay, can we find ways to increase the conversion in the sessions with the field search? So uh, this is uh, how it was. I'm looking for a daily paper and I'm having an empty search uh, page. And, but now we have the following. That sharing goes okay. So I look for something. Okay, this is gibberish. Uh, so at least this is already improved. We still say, sorry, we cannot find uh, what you were looking for. But we now show uh, at least a recommender. So the, this is the last, few, uh, the last few items. And we also added some uh, links to the categories. But for certain search uh, phrases, we uh, in around 30%, I believe, we can improve. So we had the previous uh, example of daily paper. This is a popular brand, but unfortunately we don't sell it. But uh, thankfully we have customers that were not satisfied with uh, uh, no as an answer. And uh, uh, we, we sat down together with data science and they came up with an alternative search phrase recommender. So that's what you can see here. Uh, 
so these are if enough customers who are were looking for daily paper ended up also searching for something else um, then this will add, be added to the alternative search phrases and similarly we have uh, alternative search results so this is also recommended based on daily paper so maybe uh, customers that uh, were searching for daily paper ended up uh, buying these products and if enough customers uh, do that then apparently there's a link between this daily paper brand which we don't have and these items and uh, here you can see it can give you some examples that it works pretty well uh, for instance the be nosy is a brand of colorful children's uh, clothes and this brand we don't have but we do sell colorful children's clothes so this is pretty nice um, some more examples uh, rain cape we don't have that we have them but we have them as rain poncho or rain jacket so i think our customer will be satisfied with ending up with this uh, uh, field search uh, page uh, another example could be happy socks it's also a brand this time of colorful socks we also don't have that but we do have colorful socks and then we show these so this is what i wanted to tell you if uh, show you and if you want to know more about maybe a little bit about the algorithms feel free to ask me in the chat or later in the social um, but for now uh, please stay safe and thank you fantastic thank you very much Lupus. um do we have any questions i'm just going to hop into the uh, the haystack uh, stream now oh, here we go yes we have a question from andrew how do you know what's related to the brand that you do not sell? Uh, well, we, uh, for instance, that the, the daily paper one, uh, the, there's uh, other customers that also were searching for daily paper, but they ended up searching for other things. So a brand that also sells hoodies. And if enough customers do that, then uh, you, uh, then, uh, you, that end, ends up as a recommendation. So in that way, we uh, we are confident that there is a link between those uh, that brand and those search phrases. So you're, you're crowdsourcing those links effectively between the brands. Yes. Yeah. Fantastic. Thank you. Do we have any other questions for Philippus, or shall we move on? I don't see anything in the Slack unless you're going to type nice and quickly. Well, that's great. Uh, I do appreciate this problem. I once saw a client uh, of ours several years ago who had 30% of their searches going to a no results page. And uh, you think in that situation, you worry if, you wonder if they just like burning money, frankly. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Thank you so much for your talk and for, for stepping in. Uh, we do appreciate people who volunteer for the lightning talk. So um, 